Welcome to day eight of our advent calendar. Um, for those of you who haven't been watching, why? I mean, what have you been doing? Where could you have possibly been? You're just sitting around in your duff anyway. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to be opening our eighth day of our advent calendar for Harry Potter. And this particular calendar is all Harry Potter items. I'd go through the whole list, but I've already forgotten. But there are some really cool ones. The one I think from yesterday was Fred. Um, and the day before was Dobby, okay, who's a house elf. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed doing this. This is my first year of doing this type of advent calendar. So this has been a lot of fun. So uh, what did I say we we're opening? Nine, right? No. We on eight? My memory stinks. I don't know what day it is at all. Yeah, we're on day eight. My mistake. All right, day, day eight. Here we go. All right, so I'm thinking that, well, last one was Fred, so I know they're going to try to pull a fast one and use the same mold and the same painting. Instead of putting an F, they'll put a G. I, I can't imagine them putting George right after Fred, but maybe. Um, I'm going to say, I said Severus last time. I'm going to say Voldemort this time. He who should not be named. What about you? I'm going to go with um, um, Neville. Neville. Well, yeah, it could be Neville. Neville's a cool character. I met Neville. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. We got a dog. We got a dog. Is that Fluffy? Who is the dog? It's not because it's the, the oh, dog has head. two heads. Who is the dog? That's weird. Oh, it's um Hagrid's dog. What's his name? Oh, man. No, Fluffy was the dog with three heads. Uh, Hagrid's dog is... Uh... I'm going to have to go back and watch the movie. Don't! Oh! <laughs> um, I, I, I will put the name up above. I already really knew it, but I'll just put it up above like I pretend like I didn't know it. But it is a cool one. But yeah, that's who it is. It's Hagrid's dog. I'm shocked that we got Hagrid's dog before we got Hagrid, though. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe they just randomly put him in here. I don't know. But it's a cool one. I'll put him up in the spinner at the at very end of the video. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Before you go, I think I just remembered. Fang. Welcome to the Mirror of Marion. Welcome everybody. Today is Funko Shop Day again. All right, so I bought some more stuff from the Funko Shop. They keep taking more and more of my salary. Um, I've been looking around trying to find some cool stuff there and there's a variety of interesting and fun things inside and should we should have a nice fun video here let's see how they did i noticed that lately the funko shop has gotten away from their boxes that said funko i'm not sure if they're cutting back on boxes they seem to be not very good quality boxes too which i think is interesting so i'm not sure what's going on but they've um i hope that everything is safe and secure that's all i can say but they've been pretty good about Getting this stuff here quicker, which I think is interesting. So, um, if that's all it takes, I'm good to go with that. All right, looks like we got a couple stickers here, which is nice. I got a Wonder Woman sticker, which I think is very cool. And I got a fun Batman sticker, and they're in the little Funko type. That's cool. I, a couple times I've gotten some other ones with, um, with ad icons, but I haven't gotten any. Here's the Funko box. Here we go. Box inside of a box. All right, doesn't look like they did a good job packing it very tight, though. Um, I hope again. I hope it's secure because it seems to be busting at the seams. All right. All right. Take a look and see what we've got. We got a variety of different things in here. I'll let you see them one at a time. Set this down on the floor. All right. So first thing is, I decided to get some stickers. These look pretty cool to me. I haven't decided where I'm going to put them yet or what I'm going to do yet, but I thought these were some neat ones. All right. If I ordered, I just ordered just one. I thought I ordered a few of them. Hmm. Thought I ordered three of these, but maybe I just ordered one. It is a chase sticker. I thought it was a very cool looking limited edition chase sticker. I, again, I haven't decided where I'm going to put this, but I just thought that that was kind of a cool one. Okay, so that's that. Trash. I bought some minis. 
Just decide to buy a few mini minis. Oh, looks like I got some more. They gave me a second set of Batman and, and Wonder Woman stickers, which I think is interesting. Alright, let's just take a look and see what some of the minis that I got. I got some Ghostbuster minis. I got five Ghostbuster minis. Uh, I haven't opened too many of the minis yet, and I do like Ghostbusters, so I thought these were cool. Um, you can take a look and see there's um, a lot of different options, and I'll show a picture up in the corner of the options. They have some that are 1 in 6, and they have some that are uh, 1 in 12, and then 1 in 72, 1 in 24. Okay? So let's see if we can get some rare ones. Um, and see what kind of fun stuff we can get. I always enjoy opening the minis as well as the Paka Pakas. I think those are fun things to take a look at. Um, and uh, I have a tendency to pull doubles, though. That ain't great. That's not really great when you're when you're in this situation. I have a tendency to pull all these doubles. Uh, I'm not quite as bad as the Nerd Bar. He is really good at picking pulling doubles. But I can pull some doubles. There's no doubt about it. So let's take a look. All right, I'll let you know if I got a comment or the kind of one I got here. Looks like I got a Peter Venkman. And he, I believe, is a one in six. Yes, he's a one in six, so he's a common. But he, again, he's a cool one. Let's take a look at the next one. If I get all commons, I'm going to have a hissy fit. More trash. All right. I'll hold on to one of these boxes so I know what we got here. <laughs> good Lord, dust. Ooh, this is a good one. This is, um, I forgot the lady's name that was in Ghostbusters. It was played by, oh God. Sigourney Weaver, that's right. And this is one in 36, so this is a pretty rare one. It's not the rarest one, but it is a pretty rare one. So Sigourney Weaver's character doesn't want to stand up very well. I may have to put some little command strips on her feet. But yeah, that's a cool one. That's a really cool one. So not doing too bad. At least I haven't got anything the same yet. There appears to be, let's see, how many different ones are there on here? There's to be four, 12. There's 12 different ones you can get. So, and I bought five boxes, so I'm hoping that, again, I won't get, if I get a double, it won't be too many doubles. Right. What else do we get? Ah, uh, darn it all. <gasps> Twins. Two Peter Venkmans. Out of three boxes to open to get two of the same. That's my luck. That is my luck. No doubt about it. All right. This is the downside of getting these. They weren't too expensive, though. I believe they were, I don't know, they were five bucks a piece, something like that. They weren't a tremendous amount of money, but they weren't exactly the cheapest thing either. So you certainly don't want to. Ah, yes, we've got ourselves an Egon. He's a cool one. We got three different ones here. That's good. Again, I'm going to have to figure out how to lay her down. All right, so one more. One more. They do have some on the side where um, it looks like they got covered with slime. Oh, no, it was the marshmallow. So that one looks like a cool one to get. Oh, cool. We got us a Slimer. We got us a Slimer. He is 1 in 24. So he's a little bit more rare as well. So these two are the rare ones. These two are the commons. And then we've got, of course, we've got a double. So I'll find a way to... Um, How many are there in the series? There's 12 in the series. Um, so I got four of them. So four out of the 12, which isn't too bad. It isn't too bad. But yeah, um, again, I'll put a picture up in the corner so you can sort of see the, the different ones.
those are cool. I, I do want to get the, the four main characters, so I do need to get two more of those. Like I said, I'll find a home for Peter Venkman. So hopefully you think those are cool. I'll just set these aside over here. Let me set them back here when I open my other, other items so you can see. And what I'll do is on the spinner, I will go ahead and put them as a group on there so you can get a chance to check them out. Okay? All right, let's take a look and see what else I got. I got a uh, Grog Strongjaw. Now the question is, why did you? Why did I get this? It's from Critical Role, which I believe is a game, because it says Pop Games. I just thought it looked like a cool one. Um, it sort of has that uh, barbarian kind of vibe going on. I'm thinking about making a bit of an army, okay? Army of Pops. Um, so I just thought it'd be kind of cool, maybe set up a little scene of, of uh, you know, some kind of barbarian looking guys together. I just thought that would be sort of fun. So stay tuned for that at some point in the future, okay? All right, so that's that one. The next one is Genie with a Lamp. I thought that was a cool one. Um, I don't have any of the other ones. I only have this one, and I thought he was a cool one. There is a metallic one out there that's very cool that's worth a lot of money, but I just thought this one was a neat one. So Genie. He was, Aladdin was one of my favorite Disney movies when I was much younger. Okay, we've got one more. This is a big pop. It's a six-inch, anyway. It is Voltron. Um, I used to love Voltron as a youngin, and I just thought this was really cool. Um, I always liked the, that was sort of the, the, um, uh, art animation, uh, show that I really was into as a, as a child. So I thought this one was kind of a neat one. Most likely this one will cut them out of the box and I'll find a sort of a cool place to put this one and, and sort of set it up in my background. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of research, um, on our various items and, um, we'll come on back and let you know. All right, welcome back. So we did a little bit of research on our pops, and we didn't do too much on our minis over here. Um, I don't know that there's tremendous value on these, but I'll do a little bit of research, and I'll put it up in the corner if there, if I was able to find any um, good values for some of these. This, These were pretty rare. This one was a, a 1 in 24 for Slimer, and then Sigourney Weaver's was 1 in 36. So they were a little more rare. They weren't the most rare, but those were still some cool ones, so I was glad to get those. These other ones are pretty basic pops for the most part. Uh, Critical Role, this one, is a $6 pop. So again, very basic. Aladdin, I was sort of surprised. I thought it would have a little bit more value. It's a $7 pop. And then our last one is Voltron, and this one currently is going for $13. So again, not a huge amount of value here, but some pretty cool ones, ones that I like and that I want to add to my collection. I, I, I like collecting pops that are worth a lot of value, but I also like adding into parts of my collection for things that I really like and, and sort of bring memories to me for a variety of things. Or in this case, I'm trying to sort of build a scene. So hopefully that'll be fun too. So thank you very much for coming. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, make sure to hit the bell notifications on the days we post. We post about three days a week. Uh, Saturdays is our giveaway video. So go check that one out for last Saturday. Um, uh, we try to do some different times. We do some lives periodically and things like that as well. Um, let me know what you think about the channel. Make sure to comment on which items you like the best. Did you like Voltron? Are you into any of the, the minis, and etc.? Um, if you are, which ones do you like? Thank you very much for coming, and goodbye from the Bearded Barbarian.